Today I'm gonna to share with you my five best discoveries of the month of April 2023. We do this every month. You get two discovery videos here on this channel. You get a haul, which normally I do one to two per month. And then you have at the end of each month, a complete best of discoveries of that particular month. So today, five amazing discoveries for April. At the end of the year, of course, you get a complete best releases of the year. And of course, the best discoveries of the year as well. So guys, stick around. These five I'm about to share with you are absolutely special. Hello everyone, Max Forte here, back with another best of the month. These are best discoveries I made in the month of April, 2023, not necessarily brand new. Most of these fragrances, in fact, are stuff that I tried for the first time. I loved it, I wore it, and I'm bringing it to you so you guys can also find it, discover it, and love it. So let's hop into the choices here. I'm gonna start with one here that's very near and dear to me. Recently, I wanna say a few weeks back, I went to Italy to Sans, which is an event that happens in Italy, which is a basically a convention of niche fragrances, over 300 brands. I was able to experience, I wanna say about a 10th of those brands. And this was one of my favorite discoveries there. This is called Fior di Pane from, of course, Profumo di Firenze, which is a sub-brand of Boys 1920, also from Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fragrance smells when you first spray it, and I have to preface this by saying, when it comes to fragrances or scents or aromas that we love, there is one particular aroma that I know everyone watching this absolutely love. It's mouth-watering and it's just alluring. It's something that you can't wait to, you know, to, to sink your teeth in. And I'm talking about the smell of fresh baked bread, the aroma of fresh baked bread. That's what you're gonna get here, guys. Opens up like this uncanny, incredible, aroma of fresh baked bread but it, it's, it goes beyond and above that from that particular point the fragrance will develop and in the heart into the base which you're going to be left off with it is very nice powdery uh second skin lavender perhaps some sandalwood definitely some floral components there's some iris here which i love but that fresh baked bread that you get from the beginning is absolutely head turning amazing I've yet to smell something this good when it comes to a fragrance that is also very affordable, long lasting. Profumo de Firenze, Fior de Pani, guys, try this. If it sounds interesting, it is absolutely incredible. And I love this brand here, this sub brand of Boys 1920 because they get very creative. They give you fragrances that are like out of left field, like stuff that you're not really, you know, expecting to smell. And this is something that I absolutely loved at the Sons and I'm here bringing it to you guys. I've been wearing this a little bit here, here and there. Uh, this is one of those scents, if you love the smell of fresh baked bread, but you want something that's a little bit, you know, also cocooning, cozy and inviting, Fior de Pani definitely will deliver. And of course, with all my videos, the fragrances will be listed in the description of the video, along with codes. If there is any kind of uh, specials, discounts, where I found them, I'm gonna share with you guys to make your life easier. Second up, we're gonna talk about a fragrance that has been getting quite a bit of limelight from the, the brand from Liquid Imaginaires, which I love, simply called Liquid. And this is limited edition to 999 bottles worldwide. That's it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. But it is a limited edition from the brand. And what I love about this fragrance is that it has this very familial kind of a vibe to it, but it's also intriguing at the same time. Let me explain that. So it, it's gonna smell very inviting, very appealing, very um, alluring, but it has some smoky and resinous qualities to it that are quite unique to the scent. The easiest way for me to describe this is if you took uh, two fragrances that I love, one being Umbre Leather from Tom Ford, the other one being Marc Antoine Barrois Ganymede, which is a leather-based scent also like Umbre Leather. You combine them to get facets of both of these fragrances and add some other components like resins. And the leather here is just supple. And that's what you get here with Liquid. Very, very nice fragrance, extremely powerful and long-lasting. If you do enjoy leathers that are spicy and also unique, definitely check out Liquid from Liquid Imaginaires, which is, again, limited edition to 999 bottles. And I don't know, by the time you're watching this, it's gonna be gone, but if you can get a hold of this fragrance and you love what you hear, it's definitely one that's gonna make you stand out. Next up, still with the leather theme here, another great leather that I discovered at Exxon's, which is going to be from Goldfield & Banks. This is called Island Lush, the brand from Australia, which in my opinion, at this point, I have to say, my favorite brand from Australia thus far. Island Lush is going to be this tropical leather fragrance, which you have ginger up top. The leather note here is 
unbelievable with a little bit of a gourmand nuance and Mysore sandalwood in the base, which makes it a little bit creamy as well. Very sensual, very inviting. I am lush. This is a great scent. I get this very tropical drink vibe and it's very fizzy when it opens up. Then as the fragrance develops, it gets darker. You get the leathery component, a little bit spicy, a little bit smoky. Definitely wears like a perfect garment. It's very cozy, very cocooning, very inviting, very supple. Just an absolute incredible fragrance, guys. I love Goldfield and Banks. I think they're doing very well. And over the last couple of years, they're releasing even more uh, powerful and uh, more intricate, more deep fragrances, such as Island Lush. This is a great one, guys. And it's definitely androgynous, definitely unisex. Anybody can rock it. If you do enjoy leathers, definitely give this one a, a try. I think you're going to love it. Now, I know Tonka beans have been very predominant in the fragrance world over the last decade, I want to say by now. You know, vanillas, Tonkas you know, fragrances that are sweet, uh, gourmand. The next fragrance I'm about to share with you was an exclusive release to Scent Explore last year, which if you don't know about Scent Explore, I'm talking about fragrances that I discovered at Exxon's, which is, you know, a niche convention that happens in Italy, in Milan. Uh, there's a couple out there, but there's one particular to the, to the Americas, which is Scent Explore, which happens in New York City every first weekend in December. And this fragrance I'm about to share with you was actually an exclusive and limited edition release to Scent Explore, along with another release called uh, Iced Juniper. This one here is called Sweet Tonka from the House of Precious Liquid. Again, limited edition. I don't know if by the time you're watching this, it's still available. It might be. I'm not sure. But this is a voluptuous, vivacious, and velvety Tonka fragrance. It is absolutely out of this world good. And I'm telling you guys, when I tell you something has the wow effect, I think all five fragrances I'm sharing with you will have that wow effect because they're going to be very unique in their own way, very powerful. But Sweet Tonka captures the Tonka beans essence like no other. It is absolutely, like I said, it's lush, it's velvety, it's vivacious, it's vibrant, it's powerful. Definitely sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not going to be syrupy or sickly sweet, but it's definitely going to be in a sweeter side of things. So if you do enjoy sweeter fragrances that are borderline gourmand, you're going to love this one. This is very sensual. It's very sexy. It's very attractive is the right word here. Very confident. Definitely check this one out. It is one of those fragrances that smells like a liqueur, like something you want to drink. There's definitely vanilla here, tons of uh, tonka beans, uh, definitely some gourmand uh, effect to the fragrance that gives me this boozy uh, kind of a vibe. I think there's rum here up top as well, which I love boozy scents. This one here has everything I love in a fragrance that's gonna be inviting, sensual, and definitely attractive. Kudos to Precious Liquid, to Richard Urpon, which is the perfumer, and please do keep this one in the collection, in the portfolio, because I think this is something that should not go away because it is very good and I think people should enjoy it. Before I reveal the last fragrance in this video, which I have to say that honestly is in my top five favorite discovers of the year so far. So definitely, most likely it's gonna be in my top favorite discovers of 2023. The brand itself I had never tried and this fragrance just blew my mind. But before I tell you what the fragrance is and the brand, I'm gonna share with you that you can try any fragrance I'm talking about here on the channel at perfume.com. If you want to try fragrances before you buy them, there's no other source that's best when it comes to trying before you buy it. Get a decant, live with it, love it. Once you're committing, uh, once you love that fragrance and you're ready to commit for a full bottle, then you can go for a full bottle. But I think it's a best way uh, to be easy on your pocket because, you know, this hobby can be very expensive or creating a great fragrance wardrobe can be quite costly or a daunting experience. So they make your life easier. You can try thousands of fragrances to choose from. I think by now they have over 5,000 fragrances in the portfolio. You can try indie designer niche. Most, I think all fragrances here are safe to say are niche. And you can try them at perfume.com. Use my code, details below, enjoy. There's always tons of great things you can get at perfume.com, including the max packs, which you can mix and match. The more fragrances you get, the more you save. So guys, details below. And of course, when you're ready to commit to a full bottle, of course, these bottles will be listed below where I found them, the best price, if there's codes, making your life easier. Now, the last fragrance I'm about to share with you right now is from an Italian brand, also discovered at Exxon's. This is from Lorenzo Pazalia. And the fragrance itself is called It's Copazzo. Now, It's Copazzo means going crazy. I go nuts. You know, I'm going out of my mind, that type of a thing in Italian. So this fragrance here, literally will make you go out of your mind. And I go as far as saying that people around you will also go out of their mind because this smells absolutely incredible. Now, get this, the fragrance has a very traditional old world classy 
earthiness to the fragrance, smokiness to the fragrance, very traditional, uh, almost mature, but not really because you have some really fun components that are very natural as well as modern contemporary. So this is a perfect case of classic meets modern, which I do love. The fragrance is incredible. It's powerful. It's a boss CEO type of a fragrance. You're going to command attention. If you're wearing this and you're walking into a place, I guarantee you people will turn heads and they will definitely approach you and say, dude, what the hell are you wearing? You smell incredible. When you walked into this room, you just took over. That's it's Copazzo. And the brand itself, Lorenzo Pazali, is a fragrance brand that I have, a discovery kit that I got from them. And I'm really trying their brand, really trying their releases, and I'm loving them, you know, one after the other. So I'm, you know, I'm sure I'm going to share more with you. This is the only bottle I have for now. I'm definitely going to pick up some other ones that I'm, you know, really liking at this point. But I don't think they're available here in the US right now, hopefully soon. And hopefully they'll grace us with their appearance at Synth Explore this year. But needless to say, guys, it's Copasso, one of my favorite discoveries of the year. In fact, I'm gonna put it on. It's gonna be my scent of the day. Don't go more than four. This is beastly, guys. Extremely powerful in performance, and very unique in the scent itself. And just to give you a quick um, you know, idea of what this smells like, because it's very unique, you have absinthe drink up top, you have tobacco, you have leather, you have spices, you have cedar. There are tons of very powerful notes in this fragrance. So, Three words to describe this. This is a boss, powerful, and very intriguing kind of a scent. I've never, and for me to say this, I, I own over 4,000 bottles and I've smelled thousands in my lifetime, never smelled something very intriguing and as mysterious as it's Copazzo from Lorenzo Pazzaglia, guys. Try this fragrance. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna come back here and say, man, I think this is gonna be like a love and hate. I think most of you will really enjoy if you have your taste similar to mine, but some of you will not be able to get past the first few minutes because it is sharp. It is indolic, it is rough, but then it smooths out and it gets really well-rounded and just very inspiring kind of a scent. Scopazzo from Lorenzo Pazzali, guys. I'm loving this brand. So right now, as you're watching this, I think it's going to be late April, early May. So let me know what has been your favorite fragrances, discoveries of the year so far. Not necessarily new releases, but what fragrances did you discover or brands did you discover that you absolutely fell in love with it, you know, fell head over heels. As always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Show your support if you do appreciate the channel. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you right back here with another video very soon. Take care.